They give us f of x and then they tell us that g of x is f of x minus 3. Don't worry if you don't know what that means, just go to Desmos and type these in exactly as you see them. f of x, and by the way, type in the f of x part. Sometimes you could get away with just typing in the right side of the function, but because f of x and g of x are related to each other, we're going to need this to be called f of x in Desmos. So call it f of x equals 3x squared plus 24x plus 54. And then for the second one, g of x, just type it in exactly as you see it. g of x equals f of x minus 3. And make sure that that 3 is in the parentheses like that, the way that they've written it there, okay? So just be very careful you type it in the right way. And it says, for which value of, or for what value of x does g of x reach its minimum? So you can see if I go up here that we've got both functions. You can now see that g of x is just the same thing as f of x, but it's shifted over to the right. Looks like three spots, right? And you could click these to just confirm their vertices, the vertex. Um, but what I can do is I can actually hide this graph of the red one by clicking that button just so that I don't see it and get distracted by it because they're asking us about g, which is the blue one. So for what value of x does g of x reach its minimum? Well, the minimum is down here, and the x value there is negative 1. So the answer to the question would just be negative 1.